I got this trunk for I think like $10. It's a totally old antique trunk. And as you can see, there is wood on the side of the trunk, but then on the top, there's essentially just cardboard. What I'm choosing to use to resurface the top of this is pallet wood. It's super tricky to find pallet wood that is the length that you want and also the width that you want, which is why I have kind of a pile of pieces that ended up not making the cut on this particular project. I'm gonna take my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut these pieces so that they are the length of the trunk and then I will spray this with clear coat before I attach these boards to make sure that they are smooth and that my kids aren't gonna get splinters while they're using the trunk. All of my boards are cut down now to basically the same length. When each board is cut I take my sandpaper, I go over all of those edges to make sure that they're smooth. I'm going to take them now outside and I will coat them in a clear lacquer before attaching them to the trunk. The clear lacquer spray that I'm using is a Rust-Oleum brand. If you're getting some kind of a spray can clear gloss, it should work fine. I put a handful of coats on it. It's way faster than using polyurethane, and if you haven't used polyurethane before, it can just kind of be a hassle and a big mess. So on small projects like this one, using a spray can to clear coat my wood is definitely the way that I personally prefer to go. You'll notice when you start spraying your wood that the color actually changes after the lacquer is applied. I find that it's kind of cool to see what the colors are gonna look like once it's been coated. I've left the boards out for about an hour. They are definitely dry now, and I'm gonna take them back inside. I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes into the boards that don't already have pre-drilled holes in them, and I'll tap them to this part of the trunk that has the wooden beams to it. There is a little piece of metal on the end cap of each one, so I will be drilling through that piece as well. When I'm drilling holes through the metal, I use a metal drill bit, and then when I'm drilling holes through the wood, I use a wood drill bit. I'm using mostly one inch to one and a half inch screw on this. My pallet wood resurfacing project is now complete. I totally love it. With just five boards and ten screws, a handful of lacquer, and some simple tools that you probably have around the house, I was able to turn this fairly useless trunk into an awesome piece of furniture. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and that you found the information to be helpful, and we'll see you again next time. You